Good afternoon, Parkview. I'm Adam. And I'm Rachel. And we have big news for you today. The first story is about a California educator who was accused on YouTube of sexual abuse. Yes. Andrea Michelle Cardosa was charged with five accounts of aggravated sexual assault on a child and 11 accounts of lewd acts on a child. Two women have come forward in connection with the case. The first woman is now 28. And the second alleged victim is now 18. And they both filed complaints against the uh, school system for negligence. That's awful. Yes. Uh, next up, an ex-TSA agent has stated that him and his fellow coworkers have seen and laughed at pictures of scans from the uh, rapid scan body scanners, those things you like hold your hands above your head and they scan your body. Mm, the they airport? actually, yes. They actually uh, take a really detailed scan of your body and the TSA worker has been quoted saying that you can see every dimple and fold of the person. Gross. Yeah, yeah these rapid nasty. scan scanners have been accused of violating the health and privacy of many Americans that use it at the airport. But now they've been removed, so. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So a mystery rock on Mars has suddenly appeared in front of NASA's Opportunity rover. Yes, the strange Mars rock was spotted by Opportunity on January 8th in a spot where 13 days earlier there was nothing. Yeah, the rock, which scientists call Pinnacle Island, is white on the outside, red in the middle, and appeared after Opportunity had just finished a short drive. Yes, uh, Steve Squires, the person in charge of the whole Mars operation thing, has been stated saying that it just appeared at that spot and we haven't driven over that spot. Yeah, there are several ideas on how this rock got there, but none of them have been proven, so who knows? Yeah. Um, also, a uh, mysterious castaway has washed ashore and claimed to be lost at sea for about 13 months. Yeah, he was out uh, in the Pacific Ocean and he said he lived off of fish and turtles that he caught and he relied on rainwater and urine to drink. That's but we don't really know if it's a legitimate story or not. If it is, that's nasty. In other news, at the heart of a $600 million complex of Miami condominium and office towers, a network of holes in the ground has provided new insight into the people who were there first. The uh, holes lay out the foundation of a prehistoric settlement of ancient Tequesta tribes at the confluence of the Miami River and Biscayne Bay. The Tequesta lived in what's now Metro Miami until the 1700s, and the holes held pine posts for their buildings, like kind of teepee-ish looking. Cool. Yeah, the developers have proposed cutting out sections of the limestone, rebuilding a Tequesta structure on top of it using the original post holes and putting it on display in Met Square. Yep, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, that's all we have for you this week, Parkview. Have a good weekend. Bye.